everybody. I'm Kevin, your host. Uh, I just want to brush on a quick topic this evening. So a lot of viewers have been requesting that we make a video explaining and highlighting the differences between proof of stake and proof of work. Now, while proof of stake and proof of work are two very, very different pieces of blockchain technology, they are very, very important, and we must know what they are. Now, this is essential if we just want to understand blockchain technology, we want to trade cryptocurrencies, or, you know, we just want to be able to talk about it around the dinner table. So let's jump right into it. Now, proof of stake also has another great benefit in the sense that proof of work requires huge computational power in order to mine and validate transactions, whereas proof of stake gives the user mining power based on the percentage of the coins held by a miner within a particular protocol. Now, this is seen as a less risky in terms of the potential for miners to attack the network, as it structures compensation as a way that makes an attack less advantageous for the miner. For example, to perform a 51% attack, they would need to own 51% of the given supply, and it would not be advantageous for them to hack a coin that they own 51% stake in, if you know what I mean. So therefore, it's self-governing and self-protecting. While a proof-of-stake system is actually a superior algorithm in blockchain technology, proof-of-work has been proven and tested to work. This is evident because Litecoin, the fork of Bitcoin, and Bitcoin itself are two of the main cryptocurrencies that operate on a proof-of-work consensus. Proof-of-stake, like I said, is a better algorithm, but it hasn't been out as long, so the technology is not as thoroughly tested. A proof-of-work consensus was the original algorithm scheme used for Bitcoin. It was the only way to maintain cryptographic security back in 2009-2010, in the early days of cryptocurrency. The whole network works on the mathematical task of finding the hash number that begins with four zeros and then finding the node that generates the next block. This sends the current transactions in the queue and it sends it to the network and receives a reward. So the more computational power a node has, the more chance it has to find this solution. So proof of work can't scale well because of this, because of other malicious miners will try and attack the network, trying to spend the, double and spend their coins, canceling their own previous transactions. All proof of work protocols are very hardware dependent and they consume a lot of electricity. Also, they are very slow. The new proof of stake algorithm is designed to solve this. Now, coins that run on the proof of stake algorithm are Ethereum, Cardano, and other large coins such as this. And the technology is far superior. However, like I said before, it is not nearly as old and advanced as proof of work. So it will take some time to work out the kinks and the bugs. But I still believe that proof of stake is superior. To conclude, everybody, that is my basic summary on proof of work and proof of stake and the algorithmic concepts behind them. However, like I said, I believe that proof of stake is the future of algorithm technology and blockchain and that proof of work will eventually become outdated. That's why I think that Ethereum is a better investment than Bitcoin. But again, this is not financial advice. It's just my opinion. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down below. We really appreciate it and have a great day.